Hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? Well, this is the spool of filament on Gigante, you know, my, my big printer. This is my eight foot tall uh, 3D printer. And I'm about two thirds of the way through a print for a pedestal for this big print over here. This is called Epic Swoon. It's a four foot, one inch tall print. And it's a commission for a uh, art consultant up in Cincinnati, Ohio. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to finish the pedestal that's going to go underneath it. But what I've run into is, okay, it's getting late at night. I'm about ready to go to bed. And that spool is not going to last the night. So all I want to do is I'm going to pause the print I'm going to move the print head up and out of the way so that 500 degree Fahrenheit print head is not sitting right on top of my print. I want to move it up and out of the way and I'm going to take that almost done spool off and I'm going to put a almost full spool on so I can sleep all night. So I don't have to come out at 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and worry about changing the spool when, hell, I'm asleep, I can't see what I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to do next. Ah, you see, this is my host program. This is called Repetier. And this is the actual program that runs the printer itself. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to come over here to pause and I'm going to stop doing I'm going to pause the print for a second. And then I'm going to come over to the Z function, and I'm going to want to come up. So I'm just going to move the print head up and away from the print, so I don't have that 500 degree print head sitting right on top of my print while I'm changing the filament. So I'm going to wait until it gets done with this outer perimeter, and it goes to the inner support web before I actually pause it. That way, if I make any kind of a mistake, it'll be buried inside of the print rather than out at the outside perimeter. Okay, now I'm on the inner support web, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the print. Right there, and now I'm gonna Pick the head up. Move it up, 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 up. Now I can come over here to my X and Y function, and I can move it out and away from my print itself, so I can go ahead and change the filament without having to worry about any kind of a damage to my print. This is the extruder motor and the wheel. It's a little geared wheel, or a little toothed wheel, rather, right here. This is the filament that's coming off of the spool. And this is the little tension wheel that actually holds the filament up against the extruder wheel. And all I have to do is push that off and pull that filament out. And it's just that easy. Pull it out, and now I can pull that spool off, put a fuller spool on that's going to last all night long. So if you look here in my left hand, this is the one that I pulled off. In my right hand, that's the one I'm going to put on. This one in my right hand will last all night long, you know, and into the morning sometime. So let me put this back up there and I'll plug it back in. And then all I have to do is just pull that wheel back out, feed it back into the Bowden tube. And if you look down here, I'll take the tension off that wheel and you'll see, there it is, oozing out the bottom. And I can just clean that little bit off and now it's ready to go back to work. And then I can just come back to resume or uh, continue printing right here 
and give it a click and it'll go right back to where it started. So now with another 45 hours, 55 minutes to go on this print, just to make this pedestal. So this spool should get me all the way through the night and into tomorrow morning sometime. And then I'll just put a new spool on it with whatever's left over, whatever little bit's left over before I leave to go to work or leave to go to the studio, put a brand new spool on it. That way I don't have to worry about it all day long. A new spool, a full food of five pound spool will last about a day and a half, maybe two, depending on how big of a print I'm doing. But with this one, about a day and a half. So in the morning, change it over to a new spool. That way I can sleep the night instead of having to come out at two, three o'clock in the morning, change it over to another spool. So that's part of the joy of 3D printing. You know, all the planning, all the, all the thinking ahead that goes with it in some of these multiple day prints. This print, 115 hours from start to finish. And we're at 45 hours, 53 minutes to go. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> you guys reach on there and click that subscribe button if you get the chance. I'm going to put this thing to bed for the night. And oh yeah, I'm going to go to bed myself. I'll see you guys next time. I didn't see big black eye. He stared at me again. Oh shit. More quaaludes, please. Or is it acid? I don't know.